His intellect was a kind of a machine converting facts into general laws of nature. He was going to become a priest, but instead he created the theory which struck a crushing blow on the religious systems of the world. Great biologist and systematist Charles Darwin wrote, Nothing is more intolerable than idleness. The founder of the theory of origin of species, Charles Darwin, was born on February 12, 1809, in the English city of Shrewsbury. His mother came from the family of the well-known Wedgwood porcelain factory owners. The boy had scarcely been eight years when she died. Charles' grandfather, from his father's side, was a well-known doctor, a poet, and naturalist. His father was a well-known physician, too. After his wife's death, he himself engaged in upbringing his son, who grew a rather mediocre boy. Once, father even said to Charles, You think about nothing except hunting, dogs, and catching rats. You bring shame to our family. Keeping with the practice in the family, his father sent Charles to Edinburgh University to learn medicine. But the young man happened to see two major surgeries made without narcosis, which made Charles lose interest in medicine. Three years spent on theological faculty of Cambridge were also diddled. Darwin couldn't decide yet what he would like to do. However, once in the autumn of 1831, Charles received an invitation to take part in scientific expedition as a naturalist. On December 27, 1831, Charles Darwin left the coast of England on a ship named Beagle. He visited Tenerife, Cape Verde Islands, coast of Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, and also Tierra del Fuego and Tasmania. During the five years of his trot around the world, the thoughtless young man turned into a keen researcher. Making his way through the jungles of South America, Charles noticed that plants and animals changed their forms in gradual course of time. And on the Galapagos Islands, he found out that the same kinds of animals would differ strongly on different islands of the archipelago in course of time. Darwin became more and more convinced that all varieties of living creatures had not been specially created by God, but as a result of consecutive changes that is evolution. On October 2, 1836, the sailing ship Beagle, on which Charles Darwin had sailed for five years, returned to its native coast. Darwin took up his residence in London. He began to read papers in the Geological Society, issued the naturalist voyage round the world on board the Beagle. Thirty-year-old Darwin married his cousin Emma, the daughter of his uncle Wedgwood. Charles wrote about his wife, She is my greatest happiness. Only the sudden deterioration of Darwin's health saddened the pleasure of his family life. Any event, however minor, caused anxiety, insomnia, and heart pains. To restore his health and engross himself fully in researches, he settled in a small estate at Down near London and refused even to meet his friends. This did allow him to continue his research activities. Works on geology, selection, and paleontology flowed from his pen but his basic occupation was incorporating and coordinating the huge volume of notes on his journey around the world. The Titanic work lasted for more than 20 years, and only the young scientist Wallace's article on the same topic urged Darwin forward. The fear of losing priority in covering the mechanism of biological evolution forced Darwin to write a brief extract from his huge work. On November 24, 1859, his book, The Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection, The Preservation of Favored Races in the Struggle for Life, was published. Darwin recognized that this book was the main work of his life. The scientist proved that the basic driving forces of evolution are natural selection and variability. The next book of Darwin, The Descent of Man and Selection in Relation to Sex, became famous and sensational. 
Darwin showed not only doubtless similarity, but also relationship of men with primates. In the middle of the 19th century, this idea staggered the Philistines. The theory of Darwin refuted the divine origin of human beings. Some people branded Charles Darwin, others admired him. But Darwin continued his life as a scientist in seclusion. He treated his regalia indifferently, lost his diplomas, and had to confirm through his friends about his status in various academies he had been a member of. Throughout his life, he was grateful to his wife, Emma, who with the greatest patience endured constant complaints, indisposition, and inconveniences, and was for Darwin a light consoler. She bore ten children for him, three of whom died at a very young age. But the illness gradually took the scientist's strength away. In 1882, 73-year-old Charles Darwin died. He was buried in Westminster Abbey in London. Under the bas relief, there is an inscription Charles Darwin, the author of The Origin of Species and other works on natural science. <laughs>